No freaking way. Oh my gosh, no. Look at it. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome. Ashley with Badass Vegan. Clearly, from the footage you just saw, I am pregnant with baby number three. We are so over the moon excited. So I have not posted a video in a long time. I've filmed, I have footage. I just have not sat down to edit because editing is like hard work. So I do have some videos in the in the works. I just need to like sit and do it. But anyways, this video is just to tell you guys I'm pregnant and tell you how I'm doing. Um, the footage you just saw when I found out I was pregnant was from April 11th. It is June 8th, I think, today. So I, on my app, it says I'm 12 weeks pregnant, so like three months. So I'm just gonna show you an update in my body. I just feel a little bloaty right here. You can't really see a bump yet, but in my own body, I feel bigger. So that's wonderful. But anyways, things are happening. The baby's growing. It's very exciting. Um, I'm just going to touch base on a couple of the symptoms I've, ha I've had for the past couple weeks. And then in the next footage, I'm going to show you Troy's reaction to finding out I'm pregnant. He's like so excited. But anyways, um, I just have a constant feeling of nausea. <laughs> You know, I mean, I guess it's not always constant, but it's like I'm aware. I'm aware that certain foods are not going to work right now. So, and then um, a lack of appetite. In the morning, I'm hungry. For lunch, I'm hungry. I eat good meals then, but come one, two, three, four, five, like all night, I nothing sounds good. I don't want to eat anything. Um, and my blood sugars, you know, I have type 1 diabetes. That's a whole nother battle working with my diabetic team to keep my numbers in check, which this is nothing new. I did it with both pregnancies already, so I know what I'm doing. But it is a battle and it's kind of like eye-opening to do it all over again and be so hyper aware of my own body and to see how pregnancy affects blood sugar, which I'll probably have to post a video on that separately because it's a lot. Like my blood sugars have been running so low because in the ha first half of pregnancy, you don't need as much insulin as normal. Your body just runs lower, at least for me, and that's typical, I think, for most diabetic women with type one. And then the end of pregnancy, you get more insulin resistant towards the end. So towards the end, you need more insulin per every week you get further along. So it's been a process, but it's fine. Everything's working out and I'm so, so grateful. So um, the only other thing I wanted to touch on is cravings. I, I like certain foods that are like weird for me but then I'll eat them a couple times and then I'm like over it. So for like three days, all I wanted was veggie sushi and usually I make my own, but it wasn't cutting it. So I went to this Japanese restaurant multiple times with my family and got some veggie sushi. It was delicious, but now the thought of that sounds gross. Oh, my cat's gonna say hi. Um, What else? Potatoes, mashed potatoes with vegan butter, vegan sour cream, and honestly, you guys, bacon bits not like the real where it says real bacon because those are not vegan but bacon bits and pieces i think it's called is like definitely vegan it's like a bacon flavored soy chip which is like ironic that i don't even think omnivores would even or carnivores would even like pick that up at the store and be like this is not meat but it's in fact vegan so i cannot get enough bacon bits i've been making blts with vegan mayo and like bacon bits it's so good. And then just all over my potatoes. Potatoes, hash browns, sandwiches. Oatmeal has been like my favorite food for a long time. So that's like normal. I eat a lot of oatmeal. But anyways, so that's what's going on with me. But in the next footage, I'm gonna show you guys Troy's reaction because for whatever reason, he, he he's always surprised. Like he doesn't know it's gonna happen. So, also, I just wanted to say that the first pregnancy test I took, I did not film. And I really thought it said negative. In fact, I went to, the reason I filmed the second one is because I went to pick up this test and throw it away because I was certain it was negative. I took it pretty early because I had a feeling. But the second line was so faint, the only way I could see it is a picture on my phone. And it barely showed up. And it was so faint that I was like, I'm not pregnant. And then I went on doing the dishes and doing my day and I just kept thinking, well, if that line is there, but it's faint, doesn't that mean I'm pregnant? So then I went in the bathroom and I'm like, I should record this just in case, but I was pretty sure I was gonna say no. It's always cool to find out, like validation, like you are pregnant 
it's emotional. So that's why I look like a hot mess in my robe with my hair up, like not thinking anything's gonna be, you know, filmed. Like there was nothing to film. And then I pressed record and then sure enough, I was. So that's the footage you saw before. But anyways, coming up next is Troy's finding out. So we're very excited. <laughs> This is gonna be my first vegan pregnancy, so I'm very excited to see how my body reacts differently, if stuff is different, if I gain less, if the baby weighs less, you know. I have very big babies because of the diabetes. Scott was 11-14, Sawyer was 10-1. So my goal is to have a smaller baby this time, and I'm curious to see if a plant-based diet will help. Granted, some of the food I have, foods I have been eating this past couple weeks have not been the healthiest, but if I can get some nutrients in, then I'm gonna eat what sounds good. But now going forward, I'm gonna be mindful and try and choose, you know, more fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans, nuts, seeds, you know, you know the drill. More whole food plant-based and not just vegan because there's a way to be healthy vegan and junk food vegan. We all know that. So anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like. I'm gonna hopefully be back on YouTube and posting more now that I'm feeling not so run down the first three months kind of suck i'm not gonna lie um but the second trimester i usually feel my best and can get back to the gym i have been working out but not as much as usual so my plan these next three months is to feel good eat good move my body and just be grateful oh sawyer don't knock that over bubby come over here you want to say bye bye can you say baby where's the baby it's just gonna be so great to have another one, guys. For real. Can you show them where the baby is? Here, bub. Oh, he's naked. Oh, you're the naked boy. I didn't know you were naked. Okay. Mom life. <laughs> Get down. <laughs> okay, thank you guys for watching. Bye.